morning class hope you all are healthy and safe children today's topic in our math class is add our points can we define addition yes when we put two or more things together we need to do addition to find the total now you have already learned how to add single digit numbers in class 1 right and you are big children now so you will be learning addition of two digit numbers but before that you need to learn about properties of addition also you will learn how to add on number lines let us take this simple example here in this picture you can see that we have to add four potatoes to four potatoes so what will be the total 4 plus 4 is 8 correct and what will be the addition statement for it 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 here 4 and 4 are called addends and 8 is called the sum or the total when we add two numbers the numbers to be added are called addends and the answer is called the sum or the total suppose your mother gives you two bars of chocolates and if you count the number of tablets on both the bars it is 12 and your friend gives you one more bar of chocolate with six more tablets so how many tablets do you have in all you will add how you will add you will start counting after 12 and how you will do the counting after 12 what is the number 13 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 so the sum is 18 12 plus 6 is equal to 18 there are different ways of doing addition let's see what are they first is counting on a frame of 10 here on a frame of 10 5 and 2 are added and the answer is 7 second is number line which we will be learning today third is use your fingers which you have already done in class 1 and will be doing in class 2 as well then drawing dots and counting them and the similar one using counters to add sixth is putting the bigger number in your head and counting on we will be using this way to learn also let's learn how to add on number lines suppose we have to add 10 and 2 on number line we will first draw a line from 0 to 10 and then we will take two hops to the right in first hop we reach from 10 to 11 and in the second hop we reach from 11 to 12 so what is the sum 12 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 in the same way you can do the other questions on number line now let's sum up the properties of addition children let us understand the concept of addition through a simple example i am playing this board game for which i have few blue coins and red coins how many blue coins are there 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now i add four more red coins to it 1 2 3 and 4 10 plus 4 so how we will add we will start counting after 10 11 12 13 14 so 10 plus 4 is 14 simple as that now let us understand this through a through grids and single blocks this is a single grid of 10 it means it is 110 110 3 1s is how many 10 3 
13. Now, if I remove all these and ask you, I have 10 apples and somebody gave me 0 apples. So, how many apples do I have now? I have 10 only because nothing is added. Now, let us start with the properties of addition. Most of these you already know. Number one, when we put things together, we add them to find the total. Let us take example 5 plus 4. What is 5 plus 4? 9. How? Keep 5 in mind and 4 in fingers. 5 plus 4? 6, 7, 8, 9. Here 5 and 4 are addends and 9 is the sum. Addition is done by using sign plus. Now 0 added to any number gives the same number as we did with the grids and the single blocks. 10 plus 0 is 10. 10 plus 0 is 10 because nothing is added. Point 4. When we add 1 to a number, we get the number after. For example, 25 plus 1 is 26. 33 plus 1 is 34. 109 plus 1 is 110. Now see, 26 comes after 25, 34 comes after 33 and 110 comes after 109. Now changing the order of the numbers does not change the sum. 4 plus 2. What is the answer? What is the sum? 4 plus 2, 4 in mind and 2 in fingers. Count after 4. 5, 6. Now just reverse the numbers. 2 plus 4. Count after 2. 3, 4, 5, 6. Same answer. So changing the order does not change the sum. For example, 8 plus 3 is 11 and 3 plus 8 is also 11. Write down the properties of addition neatly in your notebook and learn them. See you in the next class. Bye.